is an initiative by Meta in collaboration with Reskill. So you will get to know about all these, you know, uh, kick starting your journey with the world of AR and augmented reality. So let's start with the workshop. So with the, our expert speaker is here right here. So let let. Uh, yeah, I'm really sorry, guys, for the technical glitch. So I was, uh, you know, walking you through about the uh, the Spark AI journey. Okay, yeah. So the so let's uh, understand before starting this workshop. I will just give you a quick overview about what Spark AI looks like. What is Project Learn? So Project Learn is all about kickstarting your career in the Spark AI, and you know, in the field of augmented reality, we have a highly engaging Spark AI community in India where you can just collaborate and build some amazing Spark AI effects. Talking about the program structure, this program is divided into three broad categories. First is workshop one, where you will learn a basic, where you will get a basic understanding about how you can just up kickstart your journey about with this Spark Air and make some basic uh, Spark Air filters. The second workshop will be will teach you how to make some advanced AR effects, how you can just publish your AR effects and about the Spark Air policies. The third stage is uh, with the hackathons, where a micro level hackathon will be conduct is going to be conducted in your at a college level. And there will be some two national level hackathons too as well, where you will be some, and there are some amazing, super amazing prizes for the winners. And talking about this park, yeah, it's a global community for the creators where you can just, you know, it's a tool for, by official meta, formerly Facebook, where you can just make some amazing Instagram effects. You can just make some interactive augmented reality experiences and you can, you know, what can be seen towards and heard in the real world. So far, we have an incredible community of 600 million people using all these augmented reality apps. So Spark here basically uh, gives you four kinds of experiences. So you must have seen all those face tracking masks, world tracking capabilities. You have must have seen that GTA Vice City filters, the, set, the second one, and QR codes are very easy to scan all these things. So you, these target tracking effects and the you know, body and hand tracking, all these AR effects are very going with very pomp and show. and 
so these are the some amazing creations that uh, some of the ar experience create creators have created so you must have seen when you will scream your hair color will change and you must have seen that celebrity filter so in lockdown these filter uh, the filter that you are watching at your screen are were very at the pomp and show they were going they were booming the instagram filters ranges and with this park here you can also gamify your experiences you can make some really cool 3d experiences and map your you know facial expressions on the in the gaming side and you can you can definitely make some really good ar experiences and uh, emphasizing your movement like uh, just being present where you virtually present like you must have seen the uh, multiple you know creators uh, multiple uh, content creators are uh, uh, using the virtual stage to you know showcase their creations and all these things so you can just go with all the and even based spark your filter so this is totally up to your creativity how you are creating all these effects now coming back to the augmented so how where you will publish your and find you can just find your ar effects so it could be easily find on your instagram ids if you have you just have to link your facebook id to your instagram id you can just easily find your ar filters right over here now uh, coming back to the you know very important part like how you can just kick start your career with augmented reality and how you can just monetize your platforms and micro mark zuckerberg has recently made their statement they can you know they are going to monetize every spark your filter by 2025 and that's a very big statement because you know spark your filter so with it will teach our expert creator will teach you how to make all these ar experiences and she will teach you how to make all these ar experiences and you can just simply be a ux researcher ar developer educator you can leverage so with he is our expert in today with he holds the post graduation degree mca and she firmly believes the technology will change coming world and is changing too she has a very incredible experience in making all these spark your creations and she is working at hasidin by Del deloitte right now and so i just want with he to now i'll just invite with he so this is what we are going to make today so i'll just invite with he to the stage now so hi hi with he hey thanks a lot for uh, giving me intro hi everyone i hope you all are doing good Uh, good and i hope you all are excited for the workshop so am i uh, so let's begin uh, i'll just quickly share my screen and just give me a minute yes so i hope my screen is visible right now uh, yeah, before starting let me uh, give you a quick uh, brief on what is ar and how we are going to start uh, today our first filter many of you would uh, be already having some experience on uh, building the effects or some some of you would be quite new in this field so ar is nothing but as the word says augmented reality so it is nothing in a simple words i can say if i'm sitting here and uh, suddenly if rain starts or if suddenly snow snow is falling or sun is freezing or if i um, make some interactions like open if i open the mouth uh, for example corn fritters will start uh, coming out or it could be for example my birthday and i want to make an effect so it could be like Uh, if i just close my eyes a cake appears and then suddenly uh, you know uh, the wish happy birthday song will start uh, like playing and there could be like my friends joining through if it is a video call effect my friends will also would be able to join it and they would also interact with the same filter uh, or it could be uh, like there are different different categories for which we can make the filters like uh, if you want to make it for face effects and you will have some something or the other on the face or it could be like simple blinking or we can say kira kira effects or it could be like target tracking so where you have a specific qr code or you can say a specific target image so if you are making an effect for a brand or you know uh, something for your uh, yourself also you can have a target and you can track it and suddenly for example if i am making for maggi and what i do is i just take the maggi logo and if i scan it so for example you know something like vapor is coming in a bowl appears with maggi and all the vegetables are dropping off according to your need so all these things are interesting and you can do it so i started my journey back in uh, 2020 when the lockdown was imposed and just wanted to learn 
a new technology so i just google it and found this uh, an, a great booming technology that is augmented reality and i started working on it uh, from then i got uh, different brands like gana.com or organic harvest or something more i did for pr agencies and uh, like that uh, you know my i just started learning i just what i what i used to do is i used to experiment a lot and uh, while experimenting or i used to ask my friends what we can make it or by watching tv shows or uh, like if i am just sitting and like you if ar is nothing but you know how your imagination how you think beyond your imagination and, and how you can make your effect more creative so um i think okay my screen got stuck just a minute okay so i'll just share the screen once again for you all okay so uh, here are some of my effects uh, this is my portfolio and here there there are different uh, effects that i have been creating since uh, since back 2020 and i have currently more than 1 billion impressions on my effects and this is the, these are some of the effects that i used uh, i am highlighting like one is scribble dance i collaborated with one of the creator and then this is polaroid date so this is most of you would have definitely seen it then uh, these effects are simple basic effects i used to create long back when i was learning the space effects and some shadow or background segmentation kind of things so uh, now it's been almost more than 2 years or you can say two years uh, with being spark and i have recently uh, like started creating some beauty effects that i have been working long back so these are some of the effects that uh, i would like to show that i have created and it is really interesting that whatever you think you can create it you can create for different festivals or you can create for different brands or you know there are world effects i have created these effects for example halloween effects and and so on so uh, let's let's see how we are going to learn today's effect so before starting i would like to inform you that you just have to download this spark ya studio and i am assuming you guys have definitely downloaded it so you can just go to the documentation here so this is spark ya official documentation so all the things that we are going to see and if you want to uh, like if you want to learn more you can just go through the documentation there are different categories there are different video tutorials also for you all and even like how i learned i did from uh, i also started from scratch so i used to watch youtube videos and i used to learn it then you can join the community the community of spark ya has more than uh, 100k people now and it's really nice to see that how people are uh, creating effects and you can also learn and you can ask questions from them and they will be happy to reply to you so this is how the er documentation or spark er documentation looks like so uh, there would be like some simple tutorials as i said that creating for example art effects simple or you know big beginner friendly effects there are different articles also that you can see but let's begin our effect because i know you guys are excited to learn i'll just change the camera and i'll just go to the spark here yeah. okay so this is how if you guys have opened this spark yeah looks like so the interface you can see that the left side there are create new or if you want to learn so if you click on learn the documentation will get open to you you can open the recent projects and uh, and so on so we will create a new uh, uh, fresh new effect but before that again i i would like to give you a small glimpse on what are these templates and how you can uh, start making your effect using the template so these templates are nothing but uh, they are already you know you can say when almost half of the work of uh, yours is done by someone and you can just use it and you can add your own stuffs in that and you can just expand the creativity of yours with this so uh, there are so many things that you can see for example if you want to just change the background you can use this background effect if world ya you are creating 
you can just replace this uh, object and you can add your own and then you can add some animation slope and uh, yeah, some stuff kind of things and also the face effects and and so on so if we go here uh, on the blank project you will see that a blank project is nothing but it will just have two of the lights in it so i'll just quickly add a blank project uh, the next is sharing effect and video calling effect so sharing effects is nothing but when you you are making an effect where you can use it in uh, your reels where you can use it on your stories where you can use it on um, like video calling effects uh, would be nothing but uh, it's like it supports instagram and messenger definitely and anytime if you are uh, calling your friend you can apply the effect you can play games with your effects and for example bling challenge so if someone uh, quickly blinks they'll have less points than the someone who is not blinking so kind of stuffs you can create it so uh, as you can see that our project is being open now so i'll just uh, change the camera you can also uh, like uh, add the real time simulations over here so hi again guys and let's begin so the main thing that is the center of it as you can see this is nothing but uh, this is a viewport so whatever stuffs that we are going to add you will visualize it over here and on the right side as you can see it is like an emulator if you guys would have been worked on with uh, android studio or flutter then you would have definitely seen a, a mobile window that appears so whatever things that you have added into it you can easily display it there i mean you can see it how it looks and then on the left side you have the uh, scene panel uh, where or what all things so for example if you are adding a 2d object if you are adding a rectangle plane or 2d text or kind of stuff 3d object so you can uh, add on this scene you can visualize on viewport and the this uh, window that you can see it right over here then on the assets assets is nothing but all the things that we are going to add into our project so i'm assuming that you guys would have definitely downloaded the files that i have shared uh, shared to uh, like uh, rescale terms uh, team so they would have definitely uh, like shared the link to you uh, there is so something special called the assets library because i always like because there are so many uh, free patches available there are so many different textures available there are some sounds effect that you can add it on your uh, effect and many more then you have this test uh, testing and uploading then that we'll see later on uh, let's begin our effect now so uh, as i said that i have already shared the effect uh, things i mean whatever things materials that we are needing uh, in the effect so i also i will also quickly add it so you have to just either drag it drop it over here or you can open the assets library and you can add it directly uh, however you like you can add it now on the left side you could see that uh, like it will take a couple of minutes to add and once it will get added what we will do it all the things whatever you are adding in the scene and assets will have some properties so for example if i add these uh, effects here you will see that you can uh, compress it you can make uh, you know some changes over here so what i'll do is for all we will make the compression as none because um, see if you don't make it the compression as none then what will happen it will take manually and your texture would uh, would di would defer it so if you keep it on automatic or manual then it may possible that your effect may look uh, kind of weird and it won't look that good uh, if you keep it none so i have already imported the texture over here now what we will do is uh, as i said whatever things that we are going to add we will add on the scene panel so i quickly add uh, face tracker now what is face tracker the name says it is going to track our face definitely so whatever interactions that we are going to add with the face can be used in the face tracker so say for example if i say if i blink the eyes if i do head nod if i just you know uh, uh, close eye for some seconds or it could be opening of mouth or Head rotation, blinking of uh, one eye or second eye, all depends on the interactions of you. So this, what we will do is we'll add a face tracker over here, and then once the face tracker gets added, you will see um, that 
something has been added to you can see you can just visualize it that uh, that yes uh, something has been added to it then when we are going to add a face mesh then you will see that face mesh is nothing but it, it is again a 3d object that uh, that acquires the shape of our face and all the textures you can add it to your face would be in the face um, face mesh itself so i'll just right click over here and add a face mesh So as you can see that the face mesh has been added, it has a special property that whatever things that you will keep, uh, you will, you know, it is going to interact. You can even close your, even, and even close your eyes and mouth both. So if I close, you can see the difference. Now one more thing, most of you would be thinking that uh, why the face mesh has to be added in the face tracker only. So, all right, we'll do one more thing. We'll just remove this face tracker from the uh, you will just remove face mesh from the face tracker and see what will happen. All right, now see, I have just removed it, and if I just, uh, it won't move according to my face now. It's it's just stuck on one, uh, you know, one one place, and it is just. It's, it's not going to, you know, move according to my face. So this is what the difference is. If you don't keep it in the face tracker, this is the issue that you will see. So we will just add it in the face tracker over here. Now you can see it is working completely fine. Well, now, as I said, whatever things that you're going to add in the scene will have some properties. So face mesh has some properties, face tracker has some properties. And these are the two lights that you can see. One is ambient light and one is directional light. So so one light, uh, like the ambient light, what it will, uh, ambient light and directional light, these are the two lights that have been supported in the, uh, I mean, that, are, that just I get added to any of your blind project if you are going to add it. So uh, in the directional light, you will see the rotation position as well as scaling all the things you can do in the direction but in the ambient you can just see that there is no rotation and these properties have been you know reduced so directional light would be a constant light that is that would be coming and you can even rotate it you can change the position and so on and even you can change the color of it mm -hmm. so i'll show you one difference of it so if i go to the face mesh right side you will see some of the properties like layering and visibility so if i just uncheck it then uh, it will not be visible eyes and mouth i've already shown this is the position so if i want to change the position you can do it from the above side as you can see this is the uh, adjusting this is for position so if i move it a little bit now see it just went right hand side if i move it on the left hand side it will just come it over here and let me undo it now <laughs> All right. Now this is for rotation. So if I just rotate it, see if you don't want, uh, if you're having a constant values, you can directly put it over here. So as you can see, the rotation value have been something to 88 or something. If I keep it zero, now it again came to back, uh, back to the position. So you can also change from here if you want. I mean, you can just uh, you if you have some constant values, you can keep, uh, you can give over here, or you can just randomize over here. Now, if I see what is this scale, so scale is nothing but currently you can say that for x, y, and z axis, we have once all the values is one. So if I increase it by two or something, it will get, you know, it will get bigger. You can also decrease it, but it won't look good, I know. But depends on if you want to create some funny effects, you can just play around it and experiment. See, here it's nothing but the more you experiment, the more you come up with. Uh, some stuff the more you are going to enjoy it and you can share it to your friends too now what i'll do is i'll add a material to it now if i add a material you can see that something like this have been appeared over here and now uh, i was talking about these lights okay so one is a constant light and the one is the light that is going to affect it uh if one is going to affect if the uh, material property sets to different uh, you know different things so there are different couple of properties that is the shader type 
first is standard second is flat physically based face paint blended shader assets and retouching so retouching is nothing but what it will do it, it is going to you know give a retouching effect to my face so if i add it and i'll show you the difference of it it is nothing but kind of skin smooth uh, it will just smooth your skin you know it will just decrease some of the things that appears over your skin and make it little bit smooth now you can see the difference and we will keep it uh, 40 uh, now what we will do is we are going to rename it because see this is the best practices uh, that we are going to follow is uh, we will keep the things uh, rename it so that if you are making a big project so it won't get uh, you know you won't be confused at what is face mesh zero what is face mesh one what is rectangle plane and so on so we'll give it a name uh, as retouch retouching all right oh we cannot give uh -huh. retouch one okay now its material also will give it a name if you want retouch one okay now the next thing that we will add is the another you know another face mesh so you can either use if you're using windows control d or right right click over here and you can just duplicate it so the face mesh will get duplicated and its material will also get duplicated but we will just rename first this as dark circle and we are going to add a material to it now I'll, I'll give you the difference that what happens if you uh just what is a major difference when these lights are there and what it is going to do it in on our effect so if you just go on the ambient light and if you change the color of it it is going to change because currently the shader type is standard now what the standard will do it is going to let the lights affect the face mesh so if i click on orange or brown black you can see that the colors are getting changed but if i go to its material and change the shader type to flat now if i will change the color of these lights they are not going to affect my face mesh let's try it out now see it's not affecting my face mesh so this is the major difference that you can just uh, you can just see if you use the uh, standard or flat or physically based is nothing but that will make if you want to create an effect with you know golden or silver or any metallic look kind of things then you can use a shader type as physically based if you want if you're having face paint effects or face tattoos or kind of things then you can use the face paint and just add a texture to it i'll show you don't worry now in this we will add the another thing that is dark circles Gold. <laughs> now we'll change it to multiply and let's decrease it a little bit now the effect that we are going to create is is like a kind of batman effect so what will happen if we can have different interaction like if you had not or open your mouth something is going to appear and disappear kind of things that we are going to do it so i'll just change the blend mode there are different blend mode that you can use it over spark here yeah, add subtract multiply replace kind of thing so we will use multiply because that will make our effect more realistic now what i'll do is i'll quickly duplicate this you can even duplicate the material also <coughs> sorry so i'll just change the material name to dark circles i'll quickly duplicate this and we are going to add another material we'll change the shader type to flat and we are going to add the texture for the above dark circles We'll change it to multiply and let's give it 40. All right. So our dark circles are all set. 
Now, um, if you guys are wondering how I have created these dark circles effect, uh, on the PNG, so you can use Photoshop, you can use Pixar, you can, if you're having iPad, you can use the Procreate app and just create these textures and you can just import it in PNG and just directly add it into the Spark here. Okay, so now what we will do is we'll add the masks over here. So I've added two of the masks whatever you like you can add it so uh, let's use this one so i'll just go to the face tracker and i'll again add a face mesh let's give it a name as right man right man now I'll show you the difference between what I was talking about the physically based and how uh, it is going to look into it. So I'll add physically based over here. Now see, you can see the shininess on my skin. Oh, wait, I'll just change the blend mode to add, then you can see it at. You can see some of the shine on my face. So it depends on you if you want to use it like that, but wait, I'll just make now it will look more good now see you can see the shine on my face you can also add the roughness if you want but we are not going to use it in this way so i'll just make it as alpha and let's add a texture over here so b1 is our texture now see if i change it to metallic you can see the difference so we'll keep it you can also set roughness over here so I'll keep it like this. And now what we will do is we'll just rescale our Batman. So on the scale property, I'll change it to 1.2. And this also 1.2. No, it won't look good. 1.1. Now uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly show you what is this advanced rendering effect option so uh, this is nothing but if i you know if, if i'm going to if i'm going to add a rectangle now what will happen uh, if i go back now this thing is going to disappear but we don't want like that so i'll just uncheck both of them now what we could do is if you want more realistic look you can just give it like this and in our face mesh let's go 1.1 1.1 and 1.5 is good no 1.2 okay this one is fine now now what we will do is um, as you can see that our um, you know you can also set the property like if you just uncheck uh, the above dark circles and you will see the dark circles over the eyes also wait i'll show you but since we have said the property is 40 so you can just see light darks not that much now what we will do is we'll add a rectangle over here so i'll just right click over here we are going to add a canvas and then rectangle or just directly click on rectangle now what is rectangle a rectangle is nothing but a 2d object that has some uh, width as well as height so i'll just fill it with oh sorry i just fill it width and height now see i was showing you uh, what why you have to click on the advanced rendering option so see you can see this thing if i come the mask will appear, if I'll go, the mask will disappear. We don't want this thing. So I'll quickly add a material to it. We'll give it a background. Let's change the shader type to flat. Now in the advanced rendering option, just uncheck both of them. Now if you go and come back, it won't happen. Uh, and we are going to add this background. Now we are what? Where is the person? <laughs> okay, now I'll show. I'll uh, give you a brief introduction and brief explanation about the segmentation. So, what is segmentation? A segmentation is nothing but there are uh, have been categorized in Spark, ARS, person segmentation, hair segmentation, and skin segmentation. So, 
you guys would have seen the effects like y2k effects where there are three persons or three you know something going on the background this is done with the help of person segmentation if you just invert it it will change the background then if you want to change the hair colors you can use hair segmentations or hair you know something adding texture to your hairs then you have skin tattoo effects definitely you guys would have seen so i'll quickly add this person segmentation over here now in the rectangle what we will do we'll go back to its material and in the alpha property this is the alpha channel that how we are going to add the person segmentation so i just add a texture this is the segmentation now you can see that the if the texture that i added have been added to a person but again we don't want like this we will just invert it then you will see only the texture is being added to my background can you see it i think it's looking good okay now even you can change this uh, segmentation linings also just go to the segmentation texture and you can just decrease the softness a little bit if you want so i think 77 will work out for us and you can even change this name as background or bg whatever you like okay now what we are going to do is we'll add some interactions like say for example those dark circles were there and what if a user you know head nods and these things will appear or if he opens his mouth and then these things appear let's make it little bit interactive so i quickly add this you will just open the patch editor now what is this patch editor it's nothing but all the logic that we are going to add we are going to apply it over here now um what we will do is uh, we'll just quickly drag this face tracker here automatically its patches it will be made by spark ar now you can see that this is a face finder it is it it will search for a face so we have added a face select the indexing is starting from zero so zero indexing is a first user and then we have this face checker now in the face we are going to add some interaction so you can see over here we have this in different interaction what i was talking about blink eyebrow lower raise happy face not face etc etc now we will have a head not over here and what we will do is if a user head nods then let's make this batman as well as this canvas is uh, visible what's it okay so i'll just quickly add this over here go to the visibility property and then you will see a switch being added so if we'll just connect it over here if you want to keep it flip you can otherwise you can just make it or uh, turn on so if i just had not it then you can see this so if you feel it is going uh, you know quite fast then what we could do is we can add a delay over here so you can just use a delay patch and put a delay of 2 seconds if you want now see if i just restart my app now if i had not then after 2 seconds you will see this mask as well as uh, the uh, uh, this rectangle all right i was telling person segmentation anyways so one two see but again that would not be that smooth so we could keep it 1.5 then if you again head not it will disappear so if you want to keep like that you can keep it otherwise you just remove the delay now see it is on flip mode so if i if you do if you keep on head nodding it will disappear and if you keep head on it will appear but if you just want to keep it turn on then just click uh, click uh, on this turn on app or uh, turn on node and you can even click on turn off node so depends on you if you turn off will do nothing but it will be remain so there would be no sense of applying the logic but um, if you keep on turn on then it will be like if you just um, refresh it and just had not it then it will appear but it won't uh, go back if you want to do it again it won't go back so i think instead of keeping flip this this would be uh, good for our effect 
if you want to apply the delay you can apply it no worries once it, it will be in seconds now if you don't want to keep it head not then you can add a different uh, interaction also so if i keep it like mouth open or all right we will keep mouth open and what if some of you would be thinking if i want to keep it like if a someone had not then the uh, then this background comes and the mask will appear only when the person opens his mouth Yes, you can do that too. Just attach this over here. Now see. I'll just quickly refresh it. Okay, now see. Can you see this? Like if I'm opening the mouth, it is coming. And if I close it, it again disappears. So there are many things that you can apply it over here. You can even apply delay or uh, the, if you want to apply delay over here. And if you don't want to keep it mouth smiling kind of things. But I think had not looks good over here. Let's make more, both of them visible. Now, if you want uh, to keep it in a comment, like in a commented way, it looks good. So we can just comment around and you can write the comment over here, whatever, like, for example, uh, logic for creating this effect. So if you want to share it to your friends, you can see the they can also understand what you are what you're doing in the effect. Now, uh, what another thing, if you want, you can add the hair segmentation over here. If you want to like do something like if a user tap tap on the screen, then the mask changes. So we can do it in that way also so let's let's see how we can do in that thing tap screen all right so immediately i'll just remove this mask visibility with the head knot and what i'll do is i'll go to the face tracker and i'm going to add a plane over here Yeah, this is a plane. A plane is nothing but it is a 3D object that have both uh, position, rotation as well as scaling. So we'll go back to the patch, decrease it. <coughs> oh, so sorry. Now what I'll do is I just uh, add a material to it. Let's change him to back to. And immediately, I'll just disable this Batman mask because two masks on one person won't look good. Now, I will just quickly go to its material, planes material. Make it as physically based once again. And now we are going to add a texture that is B2. Okay, now see the mask is currently very small. We'll just scale it. Uh, so I'll go to the plane. And first of all, let's rename this as I don't give mask one, let's give that one. Okay, now let's rescale it. So go to the scaling option. Position will change. okay i think this will this will look good so if we had not did the other properties there already so it should be visible i think so let me check so this is for our canvas visibility let me refresh it And if I do the head knot, then you can see this, uh, this is appearing, but uh, you know, this uh, plane is not looking good right now with this one. So what we could do is we can just uh, make this canvas visible 
later on so i'll just disable it right now because we will do it like tap to change property so right now we'll right click over here click on tap to change green tap and we'll have a counter over here so counter will use the pulse to increase or decrease and even you can jump it so i'll just add the counter over here and we'll keep it as two because we just want that first this mask should appear and then the other one uh and then we will use exactly equals So it will match to the uh, specific number so uh, for zero if we keep um let me first enable this one so we'll keep this canvas as well as batman on the first one so select both of them and make this patch visible and now we'll add another exactly equals to and we'll select as uh, the first one that is just the plane that we created. Now see what would be the difference. So if I just restart my app. So if I just tap, go to the screen touch. You can just make it a little bit back. So these, uh, these are the two, two things that you can keep it uh, the way you like. If you want to keep it like a head knot, you can. And if you want to keep it as a screen tab, you can keep it. So I'm assuming you guys would be following with this. So if you want to keep this logic, you can. If you want to keep it this logic, you can. Depends on you. So uh, these are the things that you need to uh, like make sure that you don't make the uh, make mistakes for example uh, if you want to see this and this this is just moving according to my face the face mesh so uh, how i created this face mesh was you can use the these face assets that are provided by spark Air. so you have to just go to google and just type face assets by spark Air. there would be a feminine face as well as masculine face so you can just uh, you know you can just face paint it and you can just add it over here and it looks good see how like how light effect is coming so it's looking very real on my face so i hope uh, this this part one is clear to you all and tomorrow we are going to learn how we are uh, how more how we can make it more advanced you know how we can uh, like uh, see all the different things uh, some of the advanced capabilities I, I would like to discuss with you all and how you are going to publish the effect and how you are going to, uh, you know, how to make the viral effects and all the impressions uh, and how they are going to make, impact your Spark Care portfolio and, and so on. So I hope the session was quite interactive and you guys can follow me on Instagram uh, and if you can ask me doubts if you have any of them. So this is my Insta handle uh, with the AR filter. So I have a couple of effects, more than 250. So uh, this, this one is like, uh, instead of using the Batman, you can also use some different superhero if you want. So I hope the day one of the workshop was quite good and hope to see you guys on the, the other day. And wishing you guys all, all the best for the hackathon also. So, yeah, thank you all. Um, you can ask the question anytime. You can just ping me on Instagram and I would love to reply. Thank you.
yeah hello vidhi so can you please the community to how you know how to publish their ar effects also like uh, I, th- i think it's on session 2 tomorrow okay so if you can just uh, tell them right now it would be very great in the first workshop itself oh all right i'll just show you quickly yeah. i'm just adding your screen yeah yeah sure so yes now you can publish your effects like uh, on the left hand side there are assets library test on device as well as publish so this is uh, how you are going to test your effect so you can add the experience i uh, in the beginning of the session i told you about the how you can add the effects for sharing experience or video call experience so you just have to add experience over here and in the sharing effect just insert it the instagram facebook if you want to remove facebook you can and just make it done so if i want to test my app over here what i could do is i would just send the link to my instagram uh, just uh, hold on all right so uh, you can see that if i just uh, it is it will keep on sending it will take a couple of minute and then we would be able to see on our screen uh, on our devices so let's wait for it uh, because uh, see why testing is important because you need to see what all changes you have to make it on your effect so if i go to my insta and um, just see where the test link will appear so you can see that here the test link will appear over here uh, just hold on so you can see that if i click on the test link it will just appear like this and you have to click on this continue button so if i click on continue and then what you could do is you can just test it, test your effect over here so so you can just you have to just make a pre recording video of, of it so you can just you can just make it like this or anything if you like uh you just have to record it like this and you have to save it once you save your uh, save your uh, video over here just just keep it on your mobile or you can just import it to your laptop and now i'll show you how you can uh, publish your effect also so what you have to do is you have to just go to this publish button and you have to click it and just wait for a couple of minutes until it gets loaded uh, your texture would be compressed or some capability requirements check would be done and then you have to click on this up upload button so it will upload and it will open this uh, spark ar just a minute let it get open it's 90% just wait for a couple of more minutes so sorry okay so you can see that this window will appear and then you have to just um, wait for it you have to give a name to your effect so just think of a good name for example batman effect or batman mask or um, anything so until it gets loaded okay now what you have to do is here your uh, already your you know effect will be i mean whatever name you have given with dot arex uh, uh, ar export would appear and here you have to give a name for example batman mask or something like that then you have to select the specific platforms uh, i'll just close this and i'll show one of the already published effect so for example if i click on this one you just you just have to uh, like uh, make it 100% and automatically a window will open and once the window will open you will see that you have already you know you have already saved the video of it so here uh, you can just give the name of your effect as well as oh my internet is not working i think uh, just wait
so this is part but yeah make sure that your uh, insta is being linked to the uh, facebook account otherwise you won't be able to publish here you can give any name for example batman 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 mask anything you like you can select the platforms over here so whatever video that we recorded you can choose it over here send it to your laptop or you can directly upload it from your mobile too you can choose a image also and you can either use just video thumbnail and just click on submit now what will happen if you click on submit you have to wait for uh wait for 24 hours two days not more than a week definitely five days uh, it would be enough so I'll show you if your effect gets, you know, updated, how it looks. I mean, if your effect gets published. So this is how, for example, you will, you will add a demo video over here and you can see it over here. Like uh, here it will be displayed. Effect ID and you can add, add a category like impressive or, or anything if you like. Now what you could do is um, you just have to click on submit as I said. And automatically effect will get submitted here. You can see how it is looking and i think that that is pretty much clear how you are going to do it so you just have to see add a video for example this is just a normal background segmentation filter so you can just see this is i have put it as an icon or like that stuffs and how it will be looking like that so this is how you are going to publish your effect so i hope uh, it was it was clear and you guys definitely understood how you can publish your effect if you guys have any more questions you can just ask it Lakshit, uh, are you there? Askar, anybody? So thank you, Vidhi. Thank you for this workshop. It was a really insightful workshop and I hope you guys learned something. So we have shared the Google form in the comment section, guys. Please fill up this form. And if you find any difficulty, like there are effect IDs uh, and all these effect ID owner ID. So you will file all these effect ID owner ID and shareable effect URL in your Spark Gear Hub. You just have to, Vidhi, could you please uh, show the Spark Gear Hub for the students once? So that they could know where to get these effect ID and owner IDs. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so you have to go on the Spark AR and once you upload it. So for example, you can you can see that uh, here we have selected two of the superheroes. One was Krish and the other one was Batman. So you can just choose it over here. I mean, if you want to keep it one, you can just keep it. Otherwise, you can keep both of them. So once you upload it over here, you have to go to the... Uh, I'll just go and show you. Once your effect gets accepted, you will see over here. And then uh, here in the three dots, you will have the test on device copy effect id copy owner id so this is how you can uh, copy the owner id as well as effect id on your spark AR hub and you can just open the uh, and you can see the insights also over here and so on so i hope uh, it is clear how you can copy yeah, the so, effect id yeah so thanks for sharing the insights with you. so this is how you can just guys fill the uh, google form and please, uh, so the last date of submissions is very near. So please submit your AR effects and we are looking forward for some amazing AR creations. And thank you, Vidhi, for joining us and sharing your insights about this park. It was a really nice workshop from your side. And looking forward for the second workshop where we'll be, where we'll be teaching, where we'll be uh, discussing about Spark here policies and some advanced capabilities with this park here.
so thank you everyone for joining in have a nice weekend for and uh, keep learning keep making some amazing spark your creations thank you vidhi for joining in thank you guys thank you guys for participating